Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news that today we have. Hey, yo, man, we got, yo, man, we got, look, 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 we got big, look, big, at, look. <laughs> Look, first of all, we got Young Dolph's um, ex-wife uh, with, uh, with, uh, with a strong message, okay? Uh, DJ Academics talking about Diddy tried to set him up like Tupac, all right? We also got, um, uh, that's what he believes at least. Uh, we got Boosie's brother with a response, man. Um, uh, Benzino ripping, uh, um, he, I, look, he's going after, he, he's speaking against Buster Rhymes and what's the other lady's name? Um, I forgot, Angie Martinez concerning his daughter, man. You know what I'm saying? Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for you. going to give it a tap. And, <laughs> y'all almost choke. That subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that. Do you get this out, man? Um, uh, look, 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 look. I got some real bad news for, for some of y'all. You, know, you ready? You like, you like, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Come for all that. Come for all that, okay? Let me tell you right now. Listen. Uh, Willie D has, but Willie D of the Ghetto Boys has posted marijuana use raises the risk of heart attack. This is what studies are now saying. Marijuana use raises the risk of heart attack, heart failure, and stroke. <laughs> Even though you've been smoking it forever. Okay. Uh, uh, now this is what, what Willie D posted. He said, he said, y'all gonna quit now? Unpopular opinion. He said, I'm no scientist or medical doctor, but common sense tells me inhaling smoke from anything is not good for your body. Uh, even cars have mufflers. That said, I don't trust anything those mofos say. Who's to say Big Pharma is behind um, this to deter people from marijuana because its healing agents are more effective than their high priced pharmaceutical drugs? Um, <laughs> look, look, look. That's a really good point. You know what I'm saying? If marijuana is healing a lot of people, let's say, let's say marijuana is healing a lot of people, right? Um, then of course, big, you know, big pharma would hate. So it all really depends on who actually has done the study. Because, and I, and this is coming from someone, I do not smoke marijuana. You see what I'm saying? I don't want, I don't take in any kind of substances, man. I don't drink and I don't smoke because I don't want nothing clouding my judgment. If I'm gonna have anything cloud my judgment, it's going to be the internet. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing I'm allowing to cloud my judgment. You know what I'm saying? And buns. Internet and buns, those are the only two things. Because, well, one of them is natural. But the other one, like, you can make your own decisions off of. You know what I'm saying? Only the internet will cloud my judgment over here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Marijuana. Look, people have been smoking weed forever. Um, uh, no, no, no. But, yeah, don't, like, yeah, once it, if it affects your judgment, like, see, here's the thing, man. Stuff like, man, like, nah, I don't want to, y'all gonna not like the video. So hit the like button. <laughs> no, 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 real talk, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, just think of, think it through. The, what we does, well, some people like, nah, 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 it just makes me more on point. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me think for a second. Because sometimes, like, if I took a Motrin because I got a headache. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, certain things, like, like, certain things... I think any, 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 the abuse of anything is no good, right? Um, if you excessively have to use something to, well, what about like when, when you're sick and you really need to take like a Motrin like every couple of hours, like that's not, but yeah, but if you're taking it every day for the rest of your life, I don't know. Um, uh, listen, Benzino and Bus a Bus have a history that goes way back. I'm talking like way, way back. Like the, like in the studio when the towers was coming down type back. You see what I'm saying? Like the morning of. And on that day, Coil Array it had to be like about what, four or five years old running around the studio turning all the knobs and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Well, now Shorty is grown and she's making music with Bus a Rhymes. But she doing it naked. And Benzino is like, you like, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait a minute. What, what'd you say? I said she was probably running around the studio. You're like, no, 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 not that part. How's she doing the music? Oh, naked. Well, not nude, right? But for a parent, half naked is nude. You see what I'm saying? Just like a child coming home at 1047, essentially came in at midnight. That's all hours of the night. You know what I'm saying? 1047 is all hours of the night. Okay? Benzino has stated, this is what he said. He said, don't do no video with my daughter half cuffing naked. Half naked. <laughs> Look, just say it, bro. Naked. Yeah, you know I mean, although if you think about it, every time a woman is naked in a video, that's technically that's technically some poor man's daughter. You see, I'm saying naked in a video. You like half naked. Well, 
looking at it through a parent's eyes, a grieving parent at that, you know what I'm saying? It's naked. If a woman is shaking her tush, you know what I'm saying? Dressed, she's naked. You know what I mean? Look, the only person that should be able to have access though, ladies, to your secret parts is your spouse. You follow what I'm saying, man? Let me let me ask you a question. Would you give out three digits of your four digit passcode to your phone? You're like, oh, my phone is the six digits, dummy. Look, 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 you missed the point, stupid. Look, would you post the street you live on, but not the house? Then why would you expose the secrets of your body and show yourself naked in a rap video? <laughs> look, you'll do it for work? Ain't that effed up? If you told your partner, get half naked on Tuesday at 2 p.m., they'd give you all kinds of fever. But if they supervisor at work told them to do it, there might be less resistance. Ain't that creepy, man? Or, or is it, or is them be the breaks when you in the field of entertainment and your supervisor's a damn pervert? Um, uh, I had a lot of ladies like, mm -mm, I wanted to get naked. Oh, for work? I wanted to do it. I did it of my own volition. Oh, for work. Anyway, uh, take a listen to what Benzino had to say to both Angie Martinez and Busta Rhymes. Take a listen. I know Angie Martinez doesn't like me. I don't like her either. You don't do no video with my daughter half naked. I never knew that Coy felt this way about me. It hurts. It hurts bad. You know, y'all are just seeing the surface of it on the internet, but in real life, it ain't cool. Um, wish it never happened. You know, I know she got nominated for a Grammy and Lord knows I want her to win it. Now I have three boys. Koi's my only girl. So, you know, girls are harder. Boys, you think you have it all figured out because boys, you, you're looking at them as young men. So it's not that you're, you know, not protective of them, but girls, you're overprotective. Um, I, I supported Koi want to do music because that's all she's ever been around. She's only been around studios when she was doing music and I wasn't necessarily uh, with her being half naked on Instagram or talking about certain subjects she did in her music. But, you know, I didn't... That don't mean that I, I didn't want her to do music. I thought she was gonna go to college. I thought I didn't I didn't see her in that light. But she's very successful. I'm proud of her. I know Angie Martinez doesn't like me. I don't like her either. You know what I'm saying? But to sit there and interview my daughter and, and manipulate the situation, she knew what she was doing. You know, I'm not going to call her any names or anything. That there would be the old Zeno. So I'm going to keep it respectful. But she was wrong. Um, she's a woman, too. So an older woman. So she should have knew better. You don't play with people's kids. <clears throat> and that's what's so heartening, disheartening about this. You know, a lot of people doing, you know, the whole Buster Rhymes collaboration. Like, he should have reached out to me. Like, you know. You don't do no video with my daughter half naked and, you know, you a grown fucking man. He should have reached out to me and said something, but it is what it is. You know, she's grown. She can do what she want, but I wasn't with that, you know. All I could do is have my opinions from afar. Once they re reach a certain age, it doesn't matter what I think. The internet is definitely killing the family communication and family bond now I, I do understand hey look that. man that's i feel what he's saying man i can see how the internet could have you know what i mean I, look and we on the internet now that's the craziest part um now but but i can see how the internet can destroy a family it that is 100 but it's largely the industry too though right it's like that's the music industry and he said that she grew up watching this industry well this industry has um well i I mean, can we blame the industry? I mean, it's ruined a lot of people's lives. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, the other thing with the industry is we know what the, what a large part of the industry was geared towards, right? Making women look like whores, right? And making men look like murderers. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
My bad. Uh, like encouraging people to do those things. That's a large part of it, not all of it. Um, now, now, Coyle Ray has provided a response to what um, her dad was. Well, not a direct response, but, but she has made a statement concerning the relationship that she has with her pops, okay? She stated this. She said, at first, it was rocky because I felt like he couldn't handle my success. I, um, this is what she said before, though, right? She said, I feel it did come from an envious place, which is okay because he's human. Close quote. Um, Benzino saw, the, saw that clip. And uh, he, he responded with the quickness. I don't think he liked that that particular statement, man. You know what I'm saying? He said, uh, what did he say? He said, he said, this has to be the most ridiculous-ish I've heard in my entire life on this earth. Damn, on the earth, bro? <laughs> on the planet? <laughs> All the artists you might have been around, this, the, this is the most? Well, I guess it could be. Because that's your daughter. He said, how to cuff. Can I be envious towards someone I raised, nurtured, provided for, influenced, and loved very dearly? Maybe not envious, but you can definitely be jealous. Jealous of not having the affection of someone you love so dearly because they've given their affection to someone else. That's possible. So maybe envious is the wrong word. Maybe jealous was the right word. My bad. Let me keep reading. He said, this industry and the internet have completely messed up the minds of this young generation. I'm tired. Uh, I think it's uh, all generations. I'm tired of her pushing a false narrative about who I am and what I've done as a father. I'm, in my 40 years in hip hop, I never ever seen, I never ever seen an artist dog their parents out the way Koi does. And it's embarrassing and sad. And uh, he said, it's embarrassing. That sucks. You know what I'm saying? He said, and one last thing, Angie Martinez knows she don't like me. So she's just being manipulative and messy. Uh, they want me to crash out, but I've worked on myself so hard that I ain't going backwards for anything. But what I won't do is allow anyone to slander my name or push a false narrative uh, on my reputation and who I am. I've shed too many blood. Uh, I, I, come on, man. Can you read, bro? Can you do it today? It's Monday. Can you read? I can do it, coach. Put me back in. All right, look. Um, I've shed too much blood, sweat, and tears, survived street wars and indictments. Nope, no more. Hey, look, man, I feel, I feel, I feel for bruh, man. I mean, cause that's his daughter, man. And you know I mean? He loves her. She loves him. And you know, their relationship is wild, man. And, and this is what they got to go through. And for, I look, I, I, I pray in the name of Jesus that their relationship continues to heal up, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's always up and down with those two, man. You know what I mean? So let's, let's, let's keep them in our, in our thoughts and prayers, man. Cause they're human. And, pe and people were praying for a lot of those items And now you're trying to steal the items? God is like, get out the seat uh, Alright, let me give you this one, one, one more um, We reported to you yesterday, right? That Boosie made the statement that he fell out with Ma Dukes Because he decided he wanted to take his brother to court And technically, most folks see taking your brother to court As a, as a huge L You know what I'm saying? It's relatively egregious You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> you like, spell that You spell that Listen uh, you like, what if 10 million is at stake though? I mean, 10 million is a lot of money. You know what I mean? <laughs> 10 million is hard not to take your sibling to court for. You know what I'm saying? But think about it. If your sibling was in the habit of not parting with $10 or, 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 or a hundred, one could probably assume he ain't going to want to part with 10 million. You see what I'm saying? Well, um, Boosie's bro has decided to provide a response to what Boosie posted. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. He posted this. He said, um, all right, so TQ provide his response now he stated um if my internet will 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 serve me right he says he said i'm trying to keep it positive but what i'm witnessing with my brother is the dirtiest ish i ever seen lying on social media throwing me under the bus for paperwork we agreed on then years later claiming forgery for money a lick now painting a negative picture of my mama like he was treated unfairly or like she ever did anything to him he's gonna be punished for this Oh man, uh oh, man, um I, I hope they could get it together too, man. Come on, we need come on man. We need to stop seeing all this insanity within the family, man. I hope I don't got no more family stories. Do I? I might. Um no 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 let me give you I gotta give you this now. First of all, let me do my shout outs real quick because you know we gotta show love to the folks that be supporting the channel, man. Appreciate everybody that supports the channel. Supporting us with a view, I appreciate that. Supporting us with a like, that's double things that you did. You watched us and you hit us with a like. And if you ain't subbed to the channel, man, supporting us with a sub, view, and a like. That's the that's the man three's a magic number. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the DR So listen. Uh Dante Alexander said, Yo, I love you, Celeb. But I don't do the 9-11 jokes. Um, that's from yesterday's video. I feel you, but I don't think I was joking. I don't think I threw a joke out there. You know what I'm saying? I was saying, like, what I was saying was real talk. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 
them them dudes they really thought they was doing something for Al Qaeda. They thought they was doing something for the Lord, like for their master. You know what I'm saying? That was no joke. Um, it was it made it in the story, but it wasn't no joke. Um, but but I understand what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? And if and if if I don't think I made a joke. If I did, I apologize. Let me just do it like that. If I made a joke, I apologize. I don't think I did though, because that would have been poor taste, man. So. I better not. I'm gonna have to go look up the video because I didn't even watch the video yet. Oh, Key said what up? <laughs> Key's like, why didn't you watch your own video? Because I didn't get to yet. I was praying this morning. Listen, DJ NA, my man said, yo, hey, Celeste, show some love to your Asian brothers, bro. Yo, man, shout out to all my Asians out there, man. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes, like, I don't know, man. Um, I feel like what we cover is like only the people that's, you know, in our culture and community would appreciate you know what i mean and um because sometimes folks i just feel like it's, it's, it may be very foreign to somebody of a different culture man so yo man shout out to you man if you asian man all my asians on deck like like, like i want to know if we got asian viewers man shout out to those of y'all that be supporting us let us know if you're asian man post it in the comments below let us know you know what i'm saying i i do appreciate that man you know what i mean because i love this i love for uh i want my crowd to look like heaven you know what i'm saying i want every nationality to be up in there you know what i'm saying um uh, shout out to Foxy. Foxy said, I've watched plenty ratchet ghetto shows, uh, NTTV and Zeus and wanted to comment. But this, I'm irritated. I was raised in church seven days a week. This bit just want clout and I'm offended. Oh, you're not talking about Bobby. Don't call her a bit. She said, I would have shut her up and asked God for forgiveness. Wow. Time and place. When he come to you, you should have adhered and said, okay, I'm going to let this, let the most high handle this. I guarantee the most high would have said, shut up. You clout chasing at this point. The fact that I paused this video to comment and when I hit play, Celeb Source just said exactly how I was feeling makes me want a two piece her even more. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, you want a two piece this woman for wanting to sing? Listen, listen, listen. Please, y'all. Foxy, I'm a, I, I believe you're a woman. I'm just saying, let's, let's get our emotions in order. When our emotions drive us to become physically violent to people, then that means we've lost control. You know what I'm saying? So let's get our emotions in order. Foxy, behave. Okay? Uh, I love you, Foxy. Behave. All right? Um, we love Bobby, too. She shouldn't have sang on that plane. She was wilding. Okay? Uh, Amina, Amina Halen? Amina Halen said, I made it 666 likes. LOL. I'm over here looking at Amina like... <gasps> And uh, lastly, 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 um, this is my opinion said, Miss Storm did nothing that warranted his aggression towards her. Something is really wrong with the men in our community. Ah, oh, don't be putting it on the men. Don't put it on the men. She went in a location where this man has jurisdiction. He is in charge, right? Relatively, okay? He's more in charge than she is on the plane. When he says, sit down, you gotta sit down. If he says, get up now, y'all gotta get up. If he says, you gotta switch your seat, you gotta follow the instructions. Don't be putting it on all of us. I don't care if you got a vagina and, and, and breast assist. You see what I'm saying? Follow the instructions. Just because you got a vagina don't mean you don't follow instructions. You know what I'm saying? I bet you he asked her not... My bad. Let me finish reading. She said, the way he talked to her pissed me off and your comment about it did too. Yeah, well, guess what? This comment is probably pissing you off too, sis. Let me try to lower my voice. Listen, listen. I don't care if you got a vagina or not. You, listen, you got to follow instructions too, okay? If the man told you, yo, man, you can't sing on the plane, period. That's the end of the discussion. You can't sing on the plane. She said, what the cuff is wrong with y'all? It's really sad how disrespected and unprotected black women are. Uh-uh, don't be giving me that black woman bull crap all of a sudden. You see what I'm saying? Y'all be trying to play the, play the black woman role at the wrong times, man. And this is one of them, okay? Woman or no woman. If that was a man, yo, bruh, you can't be singing up in this plane. What that mean? If she do that on a plane, everybody gonna do that on a plane. You gotta see the law. You gotta see further past your nose. Uh, this is my opinion. And, and by the way, this is my opinion. Shout out to you, man. This is my opinion. I love you, girl. Anyway, um, uh, let's get right back to it because I know y'all mad now. Listen, um, uh, hit that like button. This is my opinion, just in case. <laughs> I, I love you, girl. I just want to let you know that. You know what I'm saying? You just got me all hype. Let me control myself. Uh, where we at over here? What's my time looking like? Oh, 17 minutes. My bad, source. I ain't mean to make this long, but um, DJ Academics. DJ Academics has stated that Diddy tried to set him up. He tried to backdoor him. That's what he said. He said he felt that Diddy tried to backdoor him. He didn't say he did. 
He said he felt like he was trying to do that. Because, you know, Diddy is connected to Young Miami and then um, Saucy Santana is best friends with Young Miami, as far as I understand. And he wanted to fight academics and then Young Miami is linked with Diddy. So Diddy essentially told, um, well, take a listen to what, 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 what academics said. Very, very interesting stuff. Take a listen. Diddy out here doing some, you know what I mean? Like, whatever, whatever. So, anyway, we're trying to find somewhere to go. They say, yo, call, come in, say, yo, Diddy sent a personal invite for a big act to come pull up with him. And I'm like, yo, yo, I heard about a back door, but it sounded like a front door type of thing. Like, yo, this is mad direct. Like, yo, <laughs> tell Playboy to come party with me. Like, hold on now. Like, hold on now. You get what I mean? So I'm kind of pre in the movements and I'm like, okay, he want me to come link him. I said, I know what this is. Listen, I was born at night, just not last night. I know what's gonna happen. What really gonna happen is this. I'm gonna show up and all of a sudden, out of the sprinter that Diddy is in, you're gonna get a flexible little body fish like Saucy Santana jumping out, just moving, walking on me. Like, yo, just like, you know what I mean? Like twerking in front of my face or some dumb shit like that. I'm gonna have to like, smile, like, come on, bruh, 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 bruh. Or I'm gonna pull up thinking we about to pop some Ciroc, some Deleon. I'm thinking it's about to be sweet. All of a sudden, I'm gonna see that young Miami, that ratchet shit coming at me like, yo. So no win situation. So I had to really send, a, I sent a kite back. I said, yo, how come Diddy never asked me to come party with him before? Then I also had to ask, yo, what type of party? Diddy into some different type of party, dog. You get what I mean? If Diddy come tell you the party, you don't know what type of party he's on. So I'm really pre the thing. I'm like, yo. Did he want to party with me? Yo, what type of party? First of all, what type of party? What type? Yo, what type of party we doing? Okay. <laughs> are we party partying? Or are we just... Yo. Yo. All I'm just trying to tell y'all, it seemed like a little... Hell no, nah, I thought it was a setup to keep it real. I, I swear, I was like, I think he invited me that that little fish saucy was gonna hop on. And I'm, I'm about to tell people, yo, smoke that. <laughs> smoke! <laughs> so, um, I think it's two different things. If Diddy himself said, yo, yo, come and let's play, let's, let's party, let's play, let's party. You know what? Let me not even...
because I don't know the facts, because the facts are not just plainly clear, but if I were to guess based on the history of things, rap, bro, a song or two, some ego, let's, no, 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 let's take that, let's, let's break that down even more. Ego, he not here because of ego. That's a spirit. If if anybody just want to call a spade a spade, it's a spirit. And he's not here because of some ego. And even if you say, well, he possessed the ego. At the end of the day, <laughs> we, we, we killing people because of a bruise, a scar, ego. What is even like, people get killed every day because you disrespected me. Nipsey Hussle not here because the old boy said he felt disrespected. You're taking a life because you feel disrespected. That's the weakest ever what are you talking about go home and cry go home and cry go home lay your head on the pillow and cry yeah 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 look without a doubt man look people are murdered because of disrespect you see what i'm saying but the issue with the disrespect through music is one of the biggest fears that all of us have which is public embarrassment it's what the fear of public speaking is all about public embarrassment most people would die than be embarrassed publicly you see what i'm saying and i guess apparently most people would rather kill right okay he, he walked real close to my car you know what i'm saying look if you want to listen in just just put your ear to the window bro you know what i'm saying uh speaking of wit man we look, 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 look. we gotta do the call in joint we're gonna do the call in joint we're gonna do the call in joint i'm just throwing it out there yo 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 yo, <laughs> yo let us know your thoughts in the comments below man be sure to like be sure to subscribe thanks for tuning in to celeb source your source for celeb news